Well, hello and welcome to this video where uh, I will try to show you how to use EndNote, which I think is very useful when you are writing your thesis or, or a paper or it can be even an assignment for your course. And the first thing I want to say is that I know that you can download it from the university because we have the license, but I don't know how, same with SPSS, because I think it's different for students and teachers. So my advice is go to IT and check if you can uh, get it from, from them. So once that you have it uh, installed in your computer, um, the first thing you need to do is to uh, open a new library. And I forgot to say that you can also get like a free trial of one month or something. So maybe you can also use that. So go to file and go to new, and then you create a new one. So I will just write test, you save it wherever you want to save it. And then you go on, I have it in Spanish. I don't know why you go on and save. And then you have this new library called test. You can do a few, so I, sometimes what I do is that I have one library for each project, but maybe it's not the best because here you have groups. Maybe you can have a huge library with many, many papers. And then for groups, you can create for each of your assignments. So maybe you can have like a thousand references and maybe for each assignment, you kind of group them. It's like giving them like a like label or something. And so you say, ah, for auditing, all of these papers are relevant for corporate governance, all of this. And the nice thing is that maybe sometimes they overlap. Maybe there is one paper that is relevant for both and you just label it in the two and that's fine. Because that's the issue I have. Sometimes when I start a new project, I start from scratch and maybe I had a paper that I used in another project that I could use here. So maybe you can just have one huge library and then you have groups. So the next thing you need to do is to kind of feed, to input the references. One way to do it is you, if you right click and then you add new reference, you you have, a, I'll try to show it like this, more like the screen, because then it's easier. But if you, if you, this will pop up if you, if you go on new reference. And then you can manually uh, add the information. So you can add in here the name of the author, the year, the title of the paper, blah, blah. And you have different types of types. So for example, you can have a book, you can have, you can cite even a web page, you can cite a thesis, you can cite many things. The, I think journal article is the most popular one, right? And then you have the volume of this. But the nice thing about EndNote is that you don't have to do everything manual and I will show you how you do it. There are three ways of input. I, I think there are at least three ways there are more of inputting this automatically. So I will go to the internet and then I will Google uh, a paper that I want to add. So startups and management control, for example. I got this paper. This paper is from this, um, is from Elsevier, I think, uh, from which um, accounting review. So I think this uh, editorial is, what's the name of this gestor? I don't remember the name of that editorial because there are like only four or five big editorial houses. I will show you from each of them. So if you found a paper that is published by this editorial in the web page, you, you need to do this on your own because each, each uh, paper, each editorial has it in a different place and also it changes over time, but you will always find it. Try to find the site uh, thing, like here, site. And here it will it will show you how to cite on MLA, Chicago, APA, blah, blah. But go for the one of these, export a file. So for example, we have all of these options and I will suggest always go for the R RIS file like this. So you click in here and you will download it. You download it and then you Click on that either here right now, or you can go to the uh, to the folder where you save it. You click, and what happens is that it will appear automatically in EndNote. You have all the information about this paper. 
It's a journal article. It's written by Davilan Foster, 2007, blah, blah, blah. Volume page, all of these things. It even has an app. It has the this, and I think it has the DOI as well. Where is the DOI? Ah, it doesn't have the DOI. Ah, that's something that I will come in, in a second on that on the DOI. So I think it, this is a first approach of adding references to, to um, EndNote. If you go to Elsevier, which is another of the big uh, editorial, you also go to site, as I say, it's usually in site. You go to site and export citation to RSI. RSI. You say, and then you click, and it will automatically go to EndNote. This time it didn't open. Ah, what happened? Ah, yeah, here it is. So now we have two references. And now it has a DOI. So that's nice <laughs> that we have the DOI. So it, it, everything, uh, everything came now, the year, all of this, even that. Another big editorial is this one, Emerald. This is another big editorial. And I think in here it comes at the end. So here you got to download as RIS. Is this, is this the right one? Then you go to Edno. And now we have three references. So we have another. And the nice thing is that it is usually um in the in the in, in the right way, they, they, it is because it comes from the uh, from this big editorial, so you you will, you will have the right information automatically. There is another one from Springer, the uh, Taylor and Francis. That's another of the big editorials. In this in this one, you go to cite this article, and RIS. I always like to get the abstract. Download citation, save, and you will get. So now we have four reference. So that's that's now how you have it here. Now you have four references that are usually correct. Sometimes the with the experience you learn that it, this is not perfect because, for example, in here. We have an issue with the with the doi. The doi should be like this without the without the other part because then it will duplicate when when this is. So usually you have to input it like this. So sometimes there are minor problems. Uh, I think it's fine. This one we have a big problem if I can call it a problem because we, it didn't came with the, it didn't come with the doi. I don't know why. So let's Google it again. And let's add the DOI manually. Sometimes it happens. I don't know. That's a bit sad, but sometimes it happens that you don't have the DOI. Where is the DOI? <laughs> I don't know where is the DOI. If you can find the DOI, you can go to, um, if you go to find DOI, I think. Cross ref is in here. You go to search metadata in this cross ref web page. That is slow, I don't know why. And I, I erase in here. And the DOI is this one. So you copy from here, then you put it in DOI. So now we have four references that work well. Sometimes another thing that can happen is that uh, the sometimes in the title of the journal I know it is it's written with underscore and upper uh, with um, with a big I forgot the name <laughs> big big letter and small letter like here that's fine but sometimes it's not correct so you need to check that. also it's a bit strange like here we have 
control systems, but here we have the small. So you need to check that, but usually it comes fine. And also another thing is that I, I it's not going to get published your work in like the highest rank journal. So it's not like super important that you have everything perfect, perfect. Um, so I, my advice in here is don't get too stressed with this. Uh, so, okay, I told you the first way of um, of getting of getting the the the, the citation. The other type of uh, mm, the other type of citation or the other way of getting the the reference is if you go to Primo, which is the library here. And you Google, you Google, you search for the for the paper that you want, and then you get it. I don't know, maybe this. Mm, now that I know him, he's nice teacher. Hi, ah, for twenty twenty three, very new paper in car. Oh, that's great. So. You got this paper. I haven't read it. It's, it looks very interesting. So you got this. This um, you find this paper, and then you go to to this RIS EndNote, and you leave it encoding, and you download. You save, and then you have a new record. Yes, you have this from Sebastian Beck. So again, I think it works. It also has the DOI, it has keywords. <laughs> so as a abstract in French. <laughs> so you have this uh, you have this second way of getting it. You can find it also in Primo, like that. The very nice thing is that because the, the first way of doing it going to directly to the editorial. Sometimes it doesn't work for books because books are published by other editorials, not only this big four or big five. So here is very nice because you can find the citation for the book. So accounting, innovation, and interorganizational relationship. You again click on RIS, download, you save. And now you have a sixth reference. And now it's a book. Let's go to Endnote. If you Check now it's a book with all these people. And as I said, now it's a different editorial. So it has a doy. So, so I think this second uh, way of doing it is very useful for uh, books, especially and um, book chapters. I think it's very, very, very useful. And the third one is go to Google Scholar. In Google Scholar, I don't know why I have it in Spanish. But then you you will again your paper. And we have this other very classic paper. What you what you can do is that you can click in here and it will take you to the web page of the paper. And then you have again the site, view the citation, I think it's like this, RIS, uh, RIS. You download from here. And then you you have like 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 before we did it. So it's basically the same from the first time. But something that you can also do, but I don't recommend unless this is the only option that you have, is to cite from here. Maybe you have it in Swedish or in English, but you have this, it's cite, it's just in Spanish. So you click cite and then you have it in APA, MLA, all of this. But then go to EndNote and you download the file, and then you can also put it in there. Why I don't recommend this is because sometimes it is not the correct citation. I don't know why. This one seems fine because it has the volume and the number, the name of the journal. But sometimes the, the citation is a bit odd. Like here, they don't have the page. No, it's fine. Uh, let's see if there is one that is a bit odd. Mm. Sometimes they don't have like the page number or, or like this one is very strange. The Russian one. What what does this mean? One that's sometimes they are strange. Like this one, it doesn't have the page number. It only says 63, but 
but that's not how it is. So I think this this should be your last resource. The, try the web page, direct web page, or Primo library. Also, because in Google Scholar it doesn't download the DOI, so you have to add it manually. In the other one, I think most of the time it downloads the DOI, but here, no. In Google Scholar, no. So my suggestion is try to download it from, uh, from from the web page directly. Number one, number two from Primo, or number three from Google Scholar. And then the nice thing about using EndNote is that once that you install EndNote, you will have an add-on here with EndNote. And it makes things super easy, super nice. It makes it very, very nice to work with. You have your all your references in here. So what you can do is that you can start writing your paper like management accounting in startups have been studied from uh, the agency theory perspective. I'm just making up something that just wrote random sentence. And then what you can do is to, if you want, because the management accounting have been studied from agency fury, you can add uh, a citation and it's very easy to add it. You just go to insert citation, insert select citation. That's my favorite. You select first, what do you want to do? And then you go insert citation. And as you can see, it appears in here and it appears in the reference list. You can add another one, for example. Now you can you need to change, so you can add another one. And as you can see, it 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 deals with the formatting easily. You can add another one. And the, also the very nice thing is that you can change in here what is the style that you want. So maybe you don't want APA, you want the Chicago, it will change. It changes automatically. And then, okay, you want APA, so you use APA. So that is very nice. Then you can also, if you want to include a quote, because then it's all about work and you will discover new things to do. But if you want to add a quote, uh, here, I, I'm not sure if that person said that, but you can say like, as stated by and then I will add the reference. Accounting is nice. <laughs> what you can do in here is edit citation and go to display as author year or just author, for example. Ah, no, I, I don't want to exclude it. I want to exclude the year. Like this, as stated by, or maybe I can just go to default. Uh, I can say, I can add more like doing it like this. I can add the page number. I can do it like this. I stated by previous research, accounting is nice. And then I have my quote. What I did in here is that you can manipulate how you present so for example, in here, I went to more and in here I wrote page 15 and it came in here. Or you can also say like uh, accounting has been studied in many papers. That's super bad, but you can do it like that. And then you add a few examples of papers in accounting. And what you can do again is go to edit citation more and you can add a prefix or a suffix so maybe you can say like i e as the latin uh, thing for in in example i don't even know what that means in latin that is like for example in becker in gomez and then you you can do it like that and the nice thing is that if you share this with your friends you can go to export and note and then you can say export traveling library. If you export on tra travel library, you when I think that you manipulate the, the manuscript and then you share it with your friend, your friend, when the friend receives the new, the new paper with new reference, you just go to export to EndNote library, export traveling library, and then you just make sure that you have 
open the library where you used to work and then just go to just click in here in the one that you are using and then go okay and it will update the references that the other person put put in in the text it will update in your own database so you can keep it always refresh if you do this so it's very easy to do export traveling library and then it will update so i uh, i hope this kind of mini tutorial is useful about using EndNote and let me know if you have any other questions. And again, my suggestion is just keep using it because the more you know, like again here, I think we need the DOI. So we need to be careful. We need to add the DOI. Uh, and I think, I think it can be very useful because then if you decide to not use this paragraph, you can just delete it and it disappears from here too. I, 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 I had it in here too. So I have to erase everything to make it disappear. So now I don't have, right? Uh, maybe I need to update. Update, oh, now it's gone. So yeah, it's, it's quite easy to use it. And I think, especially if you make changes, I think it, it's a good idea to, to use EndNote. 